Hi, I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a little bit of my sublimation wisdom. What I have in front of me here today is the Epson 9700, and its little brother is also the Epson 7700. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you'll need to do when you're starting up your printer for the first time and want to do periodically, say twice a year, and that is perform a print head alignment. Well, these printers really make it easy to do a great job with the print head alignment because the printer itself has a built-in scanner. So as it prints its patterns, it's going to be scanning those and adjusting the print head alignment, and it makes everything easy for you, and it really makes a world of difference because when you take these printers out of the box after they've been shipped around the world, they're not going to be in the kind of precise alignment that we as sublimators expect. And so this is what I consider to be a mandatory step. Now this step applies to the 7700, the 9700, but it also applies to the 7890 and the 9890, those printers as well. And it probably applies to just about any large format Epson printer you have. So come on in close, let me show you what we're going to do at the front panel to do the print head alignment. You'll need to have paper, our sublimation paper, in the printer. My favorite for doing the alignment is the Ditran SPP paper because it's a very low dot game paper. And so the first thing we're going to do is push the menu key and then we're going to scroll down to the alignment menu. So there's head alignment we'll push the right arrow key to go further down and we see two choices paper thickness and alignment first we're going to stop off at paper thickness so we'll push the right arrow key for it and we're going to select our paper type this is important push that button and we want to scroll down to matte paper push the right arrow key and the paper that we prefer the paper type that the printer is is thinking about when doing the alignments and doing sublimation is enhanced matte so you push the OK the key there. And then you can go backwards by pushing the left arrow key. And we go down to select thickness. We generally use, around here, use four millimeters. So this is what it's set for. But if you want to change it, you could push the up arrow key or the down arrow key. And then when you like your choice, you push the OK key. And we'll go back, the left arrow key, go back one more. Now we're going to scroll down to the alignment. And we're going to push the right arrow key and we're going to do an auto alignment because it's easy. We would only do a manual alignment if we were running a strange ink configuration or something like that where the auto would not work properly. We'll push the right arrow key again. Now you'll note that we have a, a list of the alignments that we're about to perform. There's actually seven for this printer. Some printers have a, a few different, but seven for this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to do each alignment in order. Now, to do an alignment, um, you just push the right arrow key and OK, but, but let's just scroll down. We have unidirectional, which means we're doing the alignment for the printer printing in one direction only. Bidirectional is, is, is aligning the print, print head when it's going from the left to the right and right to the left. And two color, it, it essentially aligns the foundation colors, which on this particular printer are, are the cyan and the magenta. Bidirectional all, it's aligning all colors for left and right alignment. And then it has a number of other bidirectional ones that, that from what I can tell, improve the dither pattern and, and often will eliminate or reduce banding as well. So these are very important and we're going to do each one in order. Now for this video purposes, we're not going to sit here and do all the alignments because it would just simply take too long. So I'll, I'll start the unidirectional, you'll see what it's doing, and then what you're going to do is keep you a piece of paper, write down the alignments that you've done, and then proceed to the next one. And when you've completed them all, uh, put the printer back in a ready mode. So we're at unidirectional right now. We're going to push the right arrow key. It says print, and all we do is simply press OK. And the printer will start printing. And again, what it's doing is it's printing a band of its, its um, color patterns and then it's examining the patterns to, to try to make very fine changes in the alignment of the print head. 
Now, with all printers, there is a mechanical alignment that you would do with like with a screwdriver, and then there is an electronic alignment. This is the electronic alignment. If the printer ever needed a mechanical alignment, which would, would be very rare, that's when an Epson service technician would be needed. Um, and for instance, you would do a mechanical alignment when you're replacing a printhead. So we'll let the camera swing and see the, the uh, alignment going on here. So I can't emphasize the importance of going through each and every alignment and then potentially doing it um, about twice a year as the printer has a little bit of wear and tear on it. Um, occasionally, for instance, a bad paper jam, you would need to realign. You know, some event that caused the, the paper, the uh, print head to hit something, something like that. Otherwise, the printer should be very happy uh, once you're finished with this. And um, for instance, this particular printer is, is located in our print services department right now. And um, when, when uh, we brought it up, which was a, a few months ago, um, I looked at the, the alignment and it, it did appear to need some help. So after I finished doing this, this auto alignment, um, we were getting just outstanding printing. Um, and so the videos that um, you'll see later on our site regarding this printer, um, it, it really shines from, from doing the alignment. So again, what it's doing is it's printing a pattern and then there's literally a scanner built into the printhead with actually a light source. It's shining on the, the output and it's, it's making adjustments um, to decide, you know, in the, in the range of adjustments which gives it the, the best pattern, the most aligned pattern, the, the sharpest pattern. And when it decides that, it locks those values in, but it continues to print to, to again, re-verify those values. Um, there is some discussion out there in the technical community of which alignment to do first, and I have my opinions. And my advice is that you, you do the alignments in order um, of it. Um, but there is also some, some folks out there like me that, that think that the bidirectional two colors should be done first. The bidirectional two colors should be done first. And that's based on our belief uh, with past Epson printers that that's sort of the foundation alignment. These printers um, are very large printheads compared to printheads of the past. And this printhead is a 10 channel printhead. Uh, think of each channel as sort of a stake in the ground. And in order for the printhead to, to not turn, so to speak, on its axis, you would need two stakes in the ground. And then the printhead cannot, you know, tilt. It cannot have slant to it. And so, so with this printhead, the, the foundation alignment, which is the bidirectional two color, uh, according to what I have been able to study, is done with the cyan and the magenta channels. And so once those are, are done, it's certainly my belief that, that the printer is ready for the unidirectional alignment. Um, but Epson, these printers have so much level of sophistication in them now, it's, it's, it's difficult to know if, if my experience from past printers really applies to these ultra high-tech 10-channel printers. Okay, we're going to break at this point in time and um, I'll show you what the pattern looks like. Well, this just is, uh, shows you what the unidirectional pattern looks like. You really can't make too much of it. Another point to remember is I recommend that you do a firmware check on the printer before you do an alignment to verify that the firmware is up to date. Because I suspect if you upgrade the firmware in the printer, it could change some print characteristic. And so it's always best right before you do the uh, alignment check like in my other tips that you, you do a firmware check both the printer and the network card. Well, I hope this has been valuable to you. I hope you get the most value you can out of your Epson printer and Condi will be there to help you. Uh, please feel free to email me at dgross at condi.com. Until we meet again, thank you.